it is war guys it is bad the spiritual war is bad and you know the funny part is those who are educated those who think they know too much those you know the one who will say that i know the bible from start until the end that's when you know someone is not really smart when it comes to what god is saying in his word and even the word does say that they, those who think they are wise they're actually foolish guys welcome to my channel my name is lindy sherry's in this channel, we love God, guys. We love God, we glorify God, and we expose the devil. Like, we are not playing. We are going to expose the devil today. So, in today's video, I am going to share a story time and tell you about this guy. Actually, he's not even a guy. A man from Venda who is a Sangoma. I'm not sure if he's alive now or maybe passed on, but then uh, I'm sure he's still around um, this guy is a Sangoma, uh, apparently the most powerful one, but to me, he didn't look any powerful, but yeah, guys, I'm just going to talk about him, what he said to me, um, the evil things that he said to me, and especially he said to me that, um, he sleeps with women like it is easy to get women to sleep with him married women especially those ones who are desperate it is easy to sleep with him but then let me just not jump straight to that let me just sh share how i met this guy and how i got to know him and trying to collaborate with him because i didn't have an experience when it comes to love potions and you know fixing married women the girlfriends and all so i'm just going to start from the beginning so I became a Sangoma and uh, because my aunt, who was a big Sangoma in Mozambique, for those of you who do not know, I'm half South African, half Mozambican. My father, he's from Mozambique. So my aunt, who used to be a big Sangoma in Mozambique, uh, she was actually uh, making sure that the certain things that I know and the certain things that I shouldn't know. So she tried to cover the evil part of being a Sangoma. So the person who actually trained me is a person who was trained by my aunt years ago. Like uh, this girl, um, it's not a girl, she's a woman living here in South Africa, but she's from Mozambique as well. So this uh, woman went to my aunt sick, like very sick and stayed with my aunt, I, I don't know for how many years, being trained and going to initiation school. So you know, sometimes when you are, uh, poor and go to initiation school you will stay there for years and you have to work just for your freedom to come out because your relatives and, and your parents or your family cannot afford to pay for you to come out so she was trained by my aunt and um did well she was also a big sangoma actually everyone who was trained by my aunt like they had this thing you know i don't know if it's because that of the i don't know if it's because of the respect that my aunt used to get from Mozambique. And I could see like my aunt was respected, not feared, you know. Sometimes there are people who are Sangomas and people are scared of them. No, my aunt was just helping people, guys. She was just helping people, guys. So, um, so but then that doesn't say uh, it was right to be a Sangoma. Now that I know the truth, it is always wrong to be a Sangoma. Even though she was helping people, she had some evil side, which I never got to see. And so when I became, when I became a Sangoma, she made it a point that she tells this woman that I am not supposed to be taught the evil part of being a Sangoma. All right, fast forward, I am now operating, but most of my customers are women. And now guys, I remember, Coming from a background where I was an IT specialist, I went to initiation school, educated sort of, and everything, G, uh, I was just getting the right customers. I wasn't getting, you know, the most poorest. I was getting the right ones, like the rich woman. Um, this specific woman, um, actually there's two that I like to talk about. And the other one I always talk about, a woman from Midrand with a Range Rover. And that's one, but she's not the one who actually went to this um, man. So she would come and then I'll do whatever to try and assist because she had a husband who was also having girlfriends and the girlfriends were trying to steal him and this man was rich. And, and it is most of the time when I go back and check, most women who were actually struggling with men who were cheating, they were actually rich. The guys were rich and the girl, like uh, maybe the woman, the wife, 
uh, wasn't that rich. Obviously, you get married to someone who's rich, and um, and you especially when this man finds you uh, maybe uh, after being rich, it's usually a difficult one to handle because you were not there when he made his money, and now you are there and because you came uh maybe with your mission of also benefiting from the money and you came for that I, I don't know but guys i'm not saying this woman got married to this man because of the money but when i looked at it it wasn't like one of those um you see this person an old man like uh, an old man obviously this man should divorce or the, this man divorced the wife and then got the girl, and now this girl was also struggling and here's a funny part about this um most girls will start will try and steal their husband and you were not there when this wealth work was created and now you are there and suffering and expecting to be the only girl so she would come to me constantly guys constantly trying different ways and sometimes this man will come back and be a good man and then all of a sudden gone he will, she will like go back to the girlfriend and not just one girlfriend, a lot of girlfriends. So it got to a point where I said, you know what, let me just go and find someone who specializes on this because I was never taught, taught how to deal with love potions, you know, anything to make your husband stay at home. So as I asked around, I asked my friend and she said, you know what, there's a man uh, who stays, we call it MR7 in Ivory Park and we can go there and we can find out from him maybe this man will try will train you and give you the right motive that you should use your yeah, guys i went there and this man you know when someone is poor you know like uh, i don't know if he's, he was dirty or poor but then he's from venda staying alone in that house and i would ask so do you have a family back home and then he say yes but i'm not sure about the wife i don't think he had a wife and this guy was a sangoma. You go to his room, you just see a pot there, and then so many scary things in that room. And and then I I just asked him that you know what I want you to train me how to deal with these women, like the love potions, making sure that their husbands like. Then he's like, you know, you came to the right place. I am going to teach you everything that you need to know. So the arrangement was, I am going to pay him, and then he is going to teach me. And I don't remember like really getting like a lesson on what um to do he would share bits and pieces and say go buy this and mix with this from jobek and then i'll go and buy that and i was expecting now i was in deep like you know when you are deep now you do not really care about you know what's good and what's right i wasn't like a witch where i'm doing things different like uh, maybe wishing thing bad things on people but when someone comes for in it for for consultation and says my husband is leaving then i'll try and assist that person and then it got to a point one day and then we were sitting and then he said to me i think he was trying to get me to sleep with him and then he said you know what i have one moti that i'm going to show you but this moti um doesn't work uh well and you, you know what you just have to uh, the only way listen to this guys he said the only way to get this moti working in your life so i didn't have such problems like you know husband i was still um not young but then i wasn't married to so be worried about husband i was worried for these girls and women who were coming to me for consultation and then he said to me um so you know what i'll have to sleep with you so that we can put this moti then i said no 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 and then he laughed because you could see but uh, uh, that one is not going to play with me and also i had a friend and this friend you know these beautiful friends this friend she said she went to Devon, um some flats in Devon to try and get um the boyfriend to stay with um to marry her because the boyfriend had another girlfriend and this man uh, actually slept she found out that this man slept with her friend and this man was also going so i'm not sure if this man also slept with her but it looks like it did happen and then again and then she started telling me and, and then another girl came a girl that we knew and had a boyfriend and things were going well sometimes and then sometimes not well with the boyfriend and then the girl came and then she, she said he said to me actually the girl passed or something like that and then she said to me you know that one i slept with her and i told her that i i need to put the moti in her so that the, when the boyfriend sleeps with her and then that way uh, the, this boy will never leave her again and we could see that this guy was true like 
too attached to this girl but he would have those moments where he would go and cheat and i was like what and then he's like no i do that to most women when they come here they desperate like you know when you're crying you tried everything to make your husband stay at home you are now at that level where you are so desperate you would do anything even if and it's so sad and scary because at that time that woman even if you can say something like go kill or go you know what like they'll even say no you can kill her like uh, there's one uh woman uh uh actually my friend actually my friend the one who wanted uh that uh, not a married man the boyfriend who was uh having other girlfriends and she said to me you know what at this point i am so tired even this girl die so you see it gets to that point where you like even uh, people don't care anymore they just want to win the fight at all costs especially to do with a man when you are in love with someone guys guys don't be in love to a point where you even want someone to die but these women are like that like these girlfriends when they want your house they want your house when they want your husband they want your husband they do not care about your kids they do not care about how many years you got married they do not care about that they just want what they want and they will go to any extreme measures just to make sure that they get the husband and then this guy said to me no it's easy they're already crying they're already desperate and then i'll just say um, you see this muti, I can give you this muti, but then I have to put it inside you and I cannot put it uh, using my hands. I cannot put it using a spatula or something like a guy. No, no, I have to put it on my, you know, and then push it inside you because the power in me will be transferred and this power and that muti will go and attract your husband and your husband will not live again. And guys, many women fell for that trip that trip many women fell for that trap guys so be careful guys don't go don't go if your husband decides to leave you one day you will reap those rewards every con every action has a consequence and it might not happen this year it might not happen in future or maybe you are blocking yourself you could have found someone who loves you but because you are stuck to this man who is busy treating you bad find help but then if the help doesn't work like that help shouldn't be a sangoma i mean try the family try therapy try different ways pray but do not go to a sangoma and you'll be desperate and you will pay anything this woman will pay anything with the range of our woman i don't know if i told you guys like got to a point where i was just charging higher and higher because she was de desperate she kept believing that i was going to help her and even when i i started like uh preparing to become a sangoma and i prayed to god and said god um if anyone comes today i'm not going to like help them and when she came the same woman the range rover woman from um, midrand when she came i said not i'm no longer a sangoma i am in a journey of praying and asking god to help me so i'm not going to open that room she was begging me saying just for the last time, just for the last time. Because every time she came, the husband would be like coming back. But when I say, but the husband didn't come back. When I say nothing is permanent when it comes to going to Sangomas, I mean that she kept coming, she kept coming, she kept paying me money, she kept paying me money. And if uh, she's not the one that I took to, um, to the vendor to the vendor men but there is another one which i took to a, to him and i'm sure that this man probably did sleep with that um woman so guys i just want you to be careful do not go to sangomas when i say do not go to sangomas i mean it rather let everything go like you know let it play the way god has planned it and everything happens for a reason sometimes it's just for a person to learn so if you are going to try and be like god and try and fix things those things are going to work temporary so yeah guys this is what i wanted um, to share i hope you are good and i hope you are continuing praying it is a war out there we are fighting spiritual war and we can only win with praying reading our bible and also trusting and having hope in god and having faith in god thank you so much for watching and guys pray